It's Tuesday, January 30th, and we have the second calf that I see. Nope, there's a third calf too. Um, so we've had two more calves drop. Um, Blue's calf here. I'll have to come by later and tag him. Blue's still licking this calf. So he or she, oh, a good, nice black calf, yeah. Just born, this one's fresh. This one is very fresh. Um, there's still some, yeah, you can see the rear and there's some blood and things. Not a pretty sight, but you can see here what she's doing. Right now it's about 70 degrees, so it's perfect weather to be born in. Welcome to this world, young one. Blue's teats are nice and big. Yeah, we'll have to tag this one. Looks like it might be a female. I'll have to double check when I tag them. Just let Blue finish off cleaning that baby. And then we have a baby over here too. Let's go check on this one. I don't see the sheep either. So by my calculations, um, conception was on April 17th of last year. So it's like two and a half months um, the year before, right? Oh, the dogs are going crazy. Let's check on this guy. Looks like number 10's calf, my Brahmin, Angus Cross. A nice blue brown calf with white head. Um, I can't tell from here whether it's a male or a female. But he was born a while ago. I can tell because he's already walking around. And he's already cleaned off. Number 10 is a bit shy. So... The weather's gonna stay warm. It's not gonna get down past the 40s. It's gonna be mid 40s. And then it's gonna rain on Saturday, half an inch. So, I think that's the only two calves. So, I was experimenting with a new camera. I was not impressed with the audio. And I tried using a lapel mic and everything to no avail. So, Number 14, are you going to give me a calf too? You used to be a little baby like that not too long ago. So, is that another one? Hold on, is there another baby? Where are my sheepies? Is that cow just smelling manure? <laughs> yeah, there's no baby there. Well, looks like everything's in order. Um, I guess spring is here early because it's going to stay in the 60s and 70s. Uh, Mid-February might cool down a little bit, but um, this is grass growing temperature checking to see if they ate all the protein. They did. And over here they ate it as well. Yeah. They're tearing up this spot of ground. Oh, they're the sheep. Hey, sheep. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what the grass is going to do, but my thought is that they're probably mooing at me because they're getting ready to give birth. Uh-huh. That's metal tag. Red, how are you doing? I'm checking their teats to see. Typically right before the, the babies are born, like the day before, the teats will be really tight. So, this one's close. Metal tag is close. 21, you gave me a beautiful calf last year, but the fire may have caused him to die. Um, no teats there. So it's hard to tell because these aren't milk cows. They don't produce a ton of milk. They just produce enough milk to raise the baby. Um, which is good in one way because they're not eating a ton of food to produce milk. But it's, I guess it can be thought of as bad in another way because, uh, Are you hot or are you just you're just chewing your cud? 
Fort 13 is one of the oldest calves. I bought her as a calf. Um, I want to say like spe Specs calf or something like that. So you're too young to have a calf. You shouldn't be conceived yet or bred. Everybody else, there's like a couple other calves that are too young to have calves. Everybody else should be good to go. What a beautiful calf number 10 gave me. <laughs> if I don't, uh, I think that's a him. That's a boy. Yeah, that's a boy. I'm pretty sure that one's a boy. You know. Anyway, yeah, I was on a pit and I was not anticipating a January, but it's warm right now. We had a few weeks of cold and wet, and it's going to be warm. We're going to be getting rain like once a week, it looks like, about half an inch at a time, which is perfect. Um, it doesn't get any better than that. Look how much, so look at the difference between 26 here. He's a spry guy. And blue's calf. They grow quick. They put on weight very quickly. Um, so, oh, you guys might have seen something in blues behind that isn't appetizing I don't know if she's given the afterbirth yet I don't think she has so we're probably less than an hour since this calf was born if I'd come to the field a little earlier I would have caught it all right guys I'm gonna leave blue alone give her some rest I'm gonna tag her calf later have a great day take care and bye bye